What's up guys? What is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the vlog. But more importantly, welcome to another gig vlog. That's right guys. It has been a while since I've done a gig vlog. I know you guys saw the California one. For those of you guys who aren't filled in, a gig vlog is a little bit like a gig log. The only difference being is that gig vlogs are usually when I DJ bars or nightclubs, restaurants, things like that. Things that I don't really bring equipment to. Today is going to be the same, not bringing any equipment aside from my mixer. As you guys can see behind me, my mixer is missing. I packed it up in the car. It is good to go. Today we're going to be DJing a bar down in Bridgewater known as Green No. I've done a couple of gig vlogs about this place. I think this is my third or fourth gig vlog that I make about this place. It's actually one of the first vlogs that I made way back in the day. So today we are going back to that same place to cover for my homie DJ Heartless. Now there is one caveat. They have switched promoters and they've also switched nights. It used to be held on a Saturday night. They've now moved it to a Friday night. So today it's going to be a Friday night no, I have my fingers crossed that it's good. I'm honestly not sure how they're doing with the new promoter. Usually when a club is going from a transition from a new promoter to another one, it's usually because things aren't going too well. Regardless though, I am excited to DJ today. It's going to be like a mixture of Latin and urban, if you will. A lot of hip hop, a lot of Latin, salsa, bachata, merengue, reggaeton. Those are my favorite nights to DJ. It's combining two worlds together, Latin and English, and bringing them together to make one awesome, epic party. Party. So, without further ado, folks, let's get right. Whoa, hold on. Actually, before we leave, I do have one thing to show you guys. You guys know how I'm always bragging about the American DJ Airstream DMX and how I love that thing. Well, there's one accessory that I haven't showed you guys and that I actually have laying here right now. This is a case that I bought for the Airstream DMX. Check this out. This is a perfect size for the Airstream DMX. This right here. Here is the case matrix matrix I think I'm saying that right case matrix I bought this thing on Amazon for 20 bucks and when it came in it was perfect I know I've been pushing the Airstream DMX a lot but I've never showed you guys this I've actually had this case for quite a while and I want to show you guys what it looks like in here check this out check this out ta-da how perfect is the fit? Look at this, it fits like a glove in there. I was so happy with this thing that I actually went out and bought a bigger case. This right here is its bigger brother. Check it out. I don't know if you guys can see there, but that's the size difference. Right now, I've been carrying my microphones just like willy-nilly. So, I bought this thing to put my microphones in here. And I want to show you guys how to make the cutouts for your microphones and your receivers in one of these cases right here. This is what it looks like right from Amazon. I'm going to show you guys. There you guys see it. So, as you guys can see here, there is no cutouts, but if you see closely here, you can can see that it's made out of like little squares and what you can do is you can pull these squares out to fit whatever item you're trying to put in here so what I'm gonna do with this case is make a cutout for my receiver and my microphones and uh, it should fit pretty snug just like the Airstream DMX did let me show you guys how I do this thing Alright guys, so let me show you how this is done. I'm going to try to do it quickly. This is actually pretty fun. I really like doing these cutouts. You don't even need a knife with this. All you have to do is take your item, whatever you want to put in here, and then what you do is you find the location where you want to put it. I'm going to leave one square on each side so that way it doesn't bump up all the way to the end. I'm going to push it right there. That looks good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the sizes of the microphones. So. This is what the cutout is going to look like right here. So what you want to do is you want to press these. Now let's do one item at a time. Let me put those back. So you want to press these hard and then when you lift up, you'll see the cutout. So right there I see the cutout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out, start undoing it. You guys can see all you have to do is peel apart. Peel apart, peel apart, peel apart. Sometimes you will have to bring back the item just to make sure that you're cutting in all the right places. Make sure that you get a right fit, a perfect fit. You don't want to make this too big, so make sure that you're cutting right where you need to be. All right, I think I'm doing pretty good right there. Don't you, don't you know? 
All right, so there you go, see it? I did the first little cutout. This is what it looks like, and this is actually what they're made of. See these little squares right here? Like I said, I left one square side here. It doesn't bump all the way to the end, so even if you do make it all the way to the end, that's fine. It should be no worries. I just personally don't like doing that. So let's go back, push this in a little bit more, make sure I have room for the antennas and everything. And check it out, guys. What do you guys think? Look at that, look at that, it fits. Perfect. What you could also do here is use this little side to put in the power cord and everything So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the microphone side looks like this one is gonna take up the whole thing guys And voila there you guys have it check it out These are all the pieces that I took off like I said, it's pretty simple. It fits like a glove I love these cases man. They are a great way to protect your investments, your microphone, your Airstream DMX, these are not going anywhere. They are not going to get damaged in here. And then all you do is you close this bad boy up right here. Bam, bam. You can also save these pieces if you ever get another microphone. If one of your microphones ever does break, if you get a new receiver or something like that and you want to make it fit in the box, it's a good idea to keep a couple things laying around. If not, you can just throw these bad boys out. Like I said, these cases aren't that expensive. I bought the Airstream DMX one for 20 bucks and this bad boy right here, this one costs 40 bucks, but this one's a lot bigger. This is a lot heavier duty. What do you guys think, huh? Pretty dope, huh? I love this bad boy. One more look, guys, one more look. Check it out. Yeah, now you're ready for all your gigs. You can bump this thing all you want and those microphones, they're gonna be in top-notch shirt. And by the way, guys, this is not an ad. This company is not paying me to say this. I bought this stuff with my own money. I've had this case laying around. I've just been waiting to do it on camera. I did buy the Airstream one a long time ago when I originally I bought my Airstream. I wanted a way to transport it because there is a caveat to the Airstream DMX that I will say these antennas over here are very, very, very flimsy. I actually broke one right after I got it. I was able to just glue it back on but now it doesn't stretch out like this one does. I glued this one back on. You gotta be careful with these antennas. That's why I bought this case. Now with this case, I can bump it around all I want without that issue. Check it out. Look how snug this fits. This is actually really small. Perfect for the Airstream DMX. I'll list everything down in the description below. Also, the first comment of this video if you guys want to check these products out. And like you saw, these cases do not, they do not come pre-cut. You have to do the cutout for yourself. So what that means, they work with multiple microphones, multiple fixtures, receivers, whatever you want to put in here. I love it, Max. But all right, now I really got to get out of here. I got an hour drive down to Bridgewater. It's 8.30. The club starts at 10. I think I'm going to be DJing the full night tonight because I don't think he's going to be able to go and I don't think there's another DJ working tonight so I think I'm going to be pulling an all-nighter 10 to 2 so four hours of non-stop DJ so without further ado folks let's get right into the gig <laughs> All right, we are here. We are here at Green Knoll Bar and Grill in Bridgewater, New Jersey. One hour drive made it here at 9.30 on the dock. Can you believe it? Um, it should take me about 15 minutes to set everything up. And like I said, I don't know what to expect tonight. I don't know if it's gonna be a busy crowd. I don't know how it is. From what it looks like it, the restaurant itself looks pretty busy. So my fingers are crossed that we get a good turnout, that people come out and party. Also, it's pouring a little bit, so I'm a little bit worried that that might affect us. I really want a good night, guys. Um, my last couple of gigs, they haven't really been fun for me as far as the DJ side of it. I'm not saying the parties were bad. I'm just saying that I haven't been having fun DJ at my last three parties that I've done. So I'm hoping to go in there tonight and have some fun on the turntables. Hopefully, we have a good turnout. Hopefully, there's a lot of people. And uh, hopefully, it's a nice party crowd. Let's go inside, set everything up, and uh, get this thing rocking. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, you guys have been here before, but it looks like they've remodeled it. I think these TVs are new. Check it out, the LED in the back. This is where I'll set up right over here in this little corner, as usual. That's the little dance floor over there. They got a couple of lights on top. They also have built-in speakers over there. This is my little spot. This is where I'll be rocking, or at least I hope. Fingers are crossed. All 
right, we're good to go. I'm all plugged in. Let me show you what we're working with. You guys have seen it a million times, but regardless, here it is. Check it out. Yeah. Pioneer DJM 850 CDJ's 2000, two of them right here. Yeah. Of course, running on a MacBook 2011. It's my old baby right here. Running on Serato DJ, just waiting for it to start up right now. Over here to my right, we have my mini mic boom with my favorite microphone. Look at this bad boy. It's got battle scars. And this is what it looks like like from the front, yeah. guys life it moves pretty fast and today it was no exception guys today was a bit of a slow night as you guys can see probably by the footage it was pretty slow there were a lot of hot chicks though so that's a plus thumbs up for the hot chicks i had fun djing it was good to get back into my zone get back into djing nightclubs i want to start doing that more often i want to start reaching out to you guys maybe you guys can hook me up with bookings wherever you guys live i want to start going out and doing a bit more clubs i want to mix it up i like doing the mobile gigs but i want to mix up a little bit of the club gigs just so that my mixing skills stay up to par. I'm starting to get a little sloppy behind the turntable, so I gotta start practicing. I gotta get my skills up to par. But regardless, like I said, it was dead, but I had fun DJing. We got the people dancing for a little bit. Nothing crazy, nothing out of the ordinary. And overall, it was a good night. Hands down, it's one of the best nights I've had in like the last month. Tomorrow, guys, we do it again. Tomorrow, I have a gig. I'm doing another Sweet 16, and then on Sunday, I'm doing a graduation party. So, uh, I got a lot of parties coming up. I'm a little bit stressed out. It's 2 in the morning right now. By the time I get home, it's gonna be 3. By the time I go to sleep, probably 3.30, 4-ish, and then I have to be up for work at 8, so I'm gonna be running on 4 hours of sleep. I have work in the morning till midday, and then in the afternoon, I gotta head out to my gig, and then on Sunday, I get to sleep in a little bit, and then in the afternoon, I gotta head 
head out to DJ again. So it's going to be a rough week this week. But regardless, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Leave any questions, comments, and concerns. I always appreciate your feedback. Also, guys, before you leave, I would really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button for me. It helps me out a lot. And if you're new around here and this is the first time you're watching my channel, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And don't forget to turn on that bell. Signing off from Bridgewater, New Jersey, DJ Bar. Stay awesome, bros. Peace.